You could be hitting so much farther than you are right now, and there's one thing that stops 98% of golfers from getting maximum distance out of their driver, and it's so simple. When you make this little change today in this video, you are going to be hitting the ball much longer and accessing the full potential of your drives. So what we're looking at here is the takeaway and how you do your backswing. Your backswing is going to determine how you get the club into a good position to rake this ball in the downswing. So a lot of golfers think they need to swing the club straight back, right? And the club's going back in a straight line. And then what happens is they keep trying to swing straight back and they get their arms very high. Now this gets you in a really odd position where you can end up swinging over the top. And this is the distance killer. The club is moving over and down and it's going into the ground. It's almost impossible to hit your long clubs, one, straight, and two, you have zero distance. So if you want to maximize distance, you've got to get out of this high and over type of golf swing and go more into this lower and around. Now, I know that sounds crazy because you've all been taught to go more high with the arms in the backswing. But lower is gonna make life easier. Watch this, when I go lower and around, I've got my hands deeper. And hands being deeper is going to help you get one, more power, and two, it's going to help you get the club on the proper path in the downswing. So the club stays behind me. It's not going over and down. It's gonna go launching into the ball at a high rate of speed, like that. It's gonna get you a lot more power too because your body will work better. So how many of you out there, raise your hands. As you swing the club straight back, you start getting your arms high, you start lifting your arms. You might struggle with a little bit of swaying because the natural reaction of going straight back is to sway because I'm disconnecting my arms from my body. So this starts to happen. I see this all the time. And then the golfer doesn't know what to do. They have to drop it down this way or they've got to loop the club this way to hit the ball with any measure of success. Now that's far too hard to coordinate when you got to hit a ball in one millisecond of time with any power. So when I get lower and around, I've got better connection to my arms against my body. And as I swing, because I'm going lower and around, it's going to naturally engage my hips. So I get more hip turn, that's a power source. And two, the hands being deeper in here, that's a power source. So as I swing into the ball, that club is going right to the ball. It's the most direct path into impact. And it's gonna be right on the middle of the face. Solid is far. So how do we get the sensation of getting rid of higher arms in favor of this more around swing? Well, you gotta think about getting away from straight back. So a great feeling, and this one, it's, it's gold. You want to feel like you're getting your hands around your hips. And I know, I did this too a while ago. I used to be a lifter and a shifter. But for me to feel like I'm getting the hands in the correct position for more power and distance and accuracy, I've gotta feel the hands down here. So when I swing the hands low around the hips, I felt this, and what I saw was this. And I will never forget the first lesson I did this. When the instructor said, hey, you need to swing under a stick. He had a stick here. He said, go under it. I said, okay, that sounds crazy. And I'm here and I'm like, oh, so weird, so awkward. He says, just hit it, just hit it. And I did, and the ball exploded. Here's a little example of taste of what happened that glorious day. So we got a little lower and around. And the ball just went with a little baby draw instead of that slice. So I'll never forget what happened that first lesson. I got all connected and I started swinging the club low and around, hips feeling. It was amazing what happened to the golf ball. Oh, that is destroyed. Versus the arms going way up and chopping down for one. This feeling is so powerless. I hate this feeling with the dryer. It's like, mm. Whenever I see a golfer struggling with this problem, I feel, I really feel for you because it feels helpless. But the moment you stop feeling helpless is when you start going around. So lower hands, lower hands, and there it goes. And I barely swung at that. I'm just tapping, I hit the trees in the distance again. <laughs> I'm just tapping it. Don't get the idea that I'm trying to swing hard like I'm not I don't feel like I'm swinging fast, the ball just explodes. 
That's the beauty of these power sources that I just showed you right here. The, the hips, the hands going more in, the better connection, the turn. Instead of all this disconnection, we've got connection and everything's good and working together. And what's working together, you're gonna hit fairways. Disconnecting is what ruins relationships. There it goes again. Oh my goodness, that was torched. I'm blaming the camera guys if that goes in that guy's yard. They said it was okay to film here. They said it was, they set me up here. <laughs> so getting the hands lower around the hips. You'll love it. Your friends are gonna hate it because they'll be the people 20 to 30 yards back when they see your ball is just going over them. And it's high and far and they're just jealous. So keeping it in. There it goes again. Barely swinging. When we get the hands in, that's fantastic. Now, belt high hands is not the only piece that is going to save you here. There's another piece. This is a bonus piece. Because we've already fixed the backswing with the belt high hands. We've fixed the downswing with the belt high hands. But if you really want the icing on the cake for this, you gotta get the shoulder down. And the reason why, if you want to hit the ball solid on the middle with most power possible, with the least amount of effort. We've got to keep our body's relationship to the ball. So at setup here, I've got my spine tilt to the ground and to the ball. For me to strike the ball solid, I've got to keep my spine's tilt. So as I swing back, I can't just swing the hands low and have a level turn. No, I'm gonna to top that ball. It, it's not gonna look good. There's a top. So it's not gonna work. But for me to get everything working right, I've got to point my lead shoulder at the ball. So I think, swing the club low and around, and my lead shoulder, my left shoulder at the ball to keep my tilt. You do that, you're gonna be bombing it. Just get up the tee, send it. You can do this tip right now, five minutes before your tee time, walk up the tee, your buddies are there, they're saying, oh, here's the short hitter, here's the short hitter, and then you nuke it over all their golf balls. In fact, they waited for you to hit last because they just wanted to see how much they outdrove you by, and meanwhile, you just get up and look, I'm tired, sick and tired, watch this video, I watch this video, and I get in, I'm gonna swing my hands lower. And then, you flong it, and it's gone. And your buddies are like, <coughs> one guy falls over, <laughs> he has a heart attack. So this is what's going on in the Segudo.golf online golf school, by the way. There's people literally doing this right now, and their buddies are freaking out. Their buddies are crying because they're out driving their friends so much. One more nugget for good success, right? Because it sounds cool, it's more fun. The guy at the end of the range is gonna hate me because his house has the lights on. In fact, the lights may have just turned on. Hey, who keeps hitting the balls on my lawn? Oh, baby, oh, no, 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 sit, 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 sit. That didn't sound like window. It didn't sound like window. It wasn't window. Maybe brick. Yeah, it was probably brick. <laughs> okay, swing the hands lower. Don't get the cops calling you. I'll see you on the next episode. <laughs> <laughs>